آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ The BBC's central sacred value is impartiality. What is impartiality? Well, uh, of course, there is no easy answer to that, which is one of the, um, uh, the great conundrums of working in the BBC for a long time trying to achieve it. Uh, I see impartiality as being about the absence of bias. Uh, and if you like, to, to, to be slightly semantic about it, it's the op opposite of partiality. Mm -hmm. If you had partial news, you would only have part of the whole picture. So impartiality is trying to give a, a full picture and therefore a fair picture. Um, how you achieve that, of course, becomes quite, quite difficult. Uh, I'd also say it's, it's different from objectivity, with which is often confused. And uh, in America in particular, they talk more about objectivity than impartiality. Objectivity, to me, is much more about evidence and fact and trying to uh, define, if you like, the evidence and the facts away from gossip or rumour. And that's a slightly different issue from absence of bias. But these two terms do get used uh, interchangeably and get rather confused, but I do think it's important to, to try and bear in mind that they do mean slightly different things. Um, the BBC is a global organisation. Um, have you had difficulty trying to translate impartiality into many languages? Well, yes, impartiality doesn't translate into, into some languages. However, for example, running the World Service, which you know, now has 27, I think uh, when I took it over, had 45 different language services. Nevertheless, culturally, uh, the idea of uh, fairness, if you like, uh, and, and a kind of openness, and if you like, that notion of giving that complete picture fairly, was something that I think everybody in the World Service you know, whatever their nationality and whatever their background bought into. It's part of the ethic of the BBC, the values of the BBC, and that was the values of the journalism that they wanted to produce. So the, the word and the concept of impartiality may sometimes be difficult to translate directly into some languages, but the value that underlies it, that ha happens to define what the BBC tries to achieve with its journalism, was something that I think all nationalities could recognise you know, as an ideal for that kind of journalism. And it's an interesting point you've made just to spell it out that there's the impartiality bit which is about being fair and balanced, there's also the accuracy bit. Yes, indeed, yes, and, you, uh, and again they, they, they sometimes get muddled together but they are slightly different mm -hmm. and you need, to have, you need to try to achieve both. Mm -hmm. In your time at the BBC, what were the biggest obstacles to impartiality? Um, well, as I said, achieving impartiality can get quite complicated sometimes. Um, so, you know, there will be issues like, for example, how, how, what's the appropriate weight to give to a particular opinion? And I can think of occasions where we definitely got that wrong. Can um, you give me an example? Well, science journalism is a great example. So if there in a bit of climate change or uh, in the UK there was a particular controversy about a vaccine, MMR vaccine, and there was one doctor who claimed this caused autism, who got a lot of attention, but actually nearly all of his peers disagreed, and most of the peer-reviewed academic research on this subject um, said it, it had no such effect at all. And yet within the media, including the BBC, we gave as much weight to what was a maverick view about this vaccine as we did to the established academic view, and that was clearly wrong. And I think, again, the complexity of the debate about climate change, trying to work out um, uh, what is the appropriate weight to place on the very different points of view about the origins of climate change or whether it's actually happening or what should be done about it could be quite complex. So, so trying to say what's the, because if you, if you get that weighting and that balance wrong, then you are in danger of misleading your audience. So the balance, the notion of balance, in a sense, assumes a prior judgment about what are legitimate views that have to be put on show. Well, it, it, it means taking an, a, a view about um, how representative or how evidenced, objective, if you like, a particular set of views may be. And that's why I like to, to talk a lot about objectivity as well as impartiality, because I think in, in the end evidence is an absolutely crucial element here. And, you know, I, I used to say to correspondents in the BBC, you can't give a, a personal opinion, but you can make a professional judgment about something as long as you provide the evidence on which that judgment is based so people can there's a degree of transparency about how you've arrived at that judgment. Mm.